Hey guys, it's a sad thing. I just heard from one of my friends that he has incurred a lot of loss in his business. You know why do losses come in business? Right, not just one. There are multiple number of forces that attack business. Or let's look at Michael Porter's five forces model in this context to just understand what are those five forces which are attacking and I don't know which one of these five has affected my friend. Looking at the five forces, let's start with the first one. Attack from your rivals. Your arc rivals are always there waiting for you to do the smallest of mistake to pull out you down from the market. Alright, so the first up coming up a straight competition from your rivals who are doing the same business as you're doing, who are delivering the same product as you are. Then comes the competition is tough, so it doesn't stop there. It comes from products which are in the nature of substitutes. So you're not just looking at the main product, you're also looking at the product which is a substitute. So there are people who are doing similar, if not the same. They're doing similar kind of product sale, but are taking over you by satisfying the same kind of the need. So you are talking about a toothpaste, I'm talking about a tooth powder, right? So this is exactly the substitute for one another, and then I can take your business by storm. Alright, so we are trying to battle up hard with these two forces, people who are doing the same business and similar business from rivals and substitutes, I'm attacking from both these directions. Then comes the third bullet straight into your head from a new entrant, right? Recently we are a telecom giant like Jio coming in to kill the market of Airtel, Vodafone and Idea, right? How do you deal with this, right? So you got to be well prepared. The third kind of force is new entrants walking into market. If the market is conducive enough to allow new people to come in and then that's an open market, I think everybody can come in and that's a biggest threat that you can ever look out for. A few years before in the same telecom industry, there was Docomo coming in and charging everybody at a paisa per second and which is why the entire telecom industry had to change the billing patterns. The new entrants have a great influence in the way you operate. Rivals, substitutes and new entrants coming up. If this is not enough, you have two forces who are always with you. You're your own buyers who have a better bargaining power than you. If you can talk good, they can talk better. So they are always in a better bargaining situation than you to pull you down. And they're like, if you want to give me at this price, give it. Otherwise, I have many options. So you are kind of forced to give them at a price which they are looking out for. And that's why their clout in this case is much more than what you have. Your buyers having a better bargaining power. No, is that not enough? No, your supplier is also having a better bargaining power. He is saying, if if you want me to supply raw materials, I will supply only at this price and then if you don't have a better talking power than him or a bargaining power than him, you got to surrender. Or if the supplier is the only supplier in the market who is supplying that, his cloud is again higher because if not you, he will find 100 other customers. And uh, that is where I sum up. So five arrows attacking you from all the directions. Michael Porter puts it up and calls it five forces model. So looking at back at what the five forces are, rivals, substitutes, new entrants, buyers bargain power and suppliers bargaining power all attacking from different ends now one of the most complicated stuff is if all of them are attacking together you have two of them attacking together three of them attacking together and sometimes the worst of the conditions you have all five of them attacking to you which is why your business ends up making losses so come out watch for these five forces be ready on all of them have defensive mechanisms on five forces provided by Michael Porter which is when you will be able to make profits in business I am Harish Krishnan I hope this was informative wait for more